Just like my channel, I believe that Notebook LM from Google is quite underrated. Notebook LM is an innovative experimental AI-powered note-taking tool developed by Google Labs. Designed to facilitate faster learning and improved research efficiency, Notebook LM harnesses the potential of language models to help users synthesize facts, explain complex ideas, and generate new connections. This cutting-edge tool is initially available to a small group of users in the US and at some other geographical locations, but it is now expanding quite rapidly, which is quite good. And I think now it is available in most of the countries, but still there are few where I have heard that it is not available. At its core, Notebook LM boasts several key features that set it apart from traditional note-taking tools and AI chatbots. One of its most significant advantage is source grounding, which enables the user to anchor the language model in their selected sources, such as Google Docs. This creates a personalized AI assistant that is well versed in the information most relevant to the users. So there are three things which you can do with this notebook LM. First and foremost, and probably my favorite one, is that it can automatically generate summaries key topics and questions for uploaded documents, providing a deeper understanding of the material. You can also ask specific questions about uploaded documents, such as creating a glossary of key terms or summarizing interaction between historical figures. You can also generate creative ideas based on uploaded content, including scripts for videos or potential investor questions. Notebook LM also prioritizes fact-checking and transparency when providing responses the tool includes citations and original quotes from sources, making it easy for users to verify information. This feature encourages critical thinking and ensures accuracy of generated content. Additionally, Notebook LM supports drawing from multiple sources, facilitating a more comprehensive understanding of complex topics. Google Lab has implemented stringent safety criteria and safeguards to ensure Notebook LM's responsible development and deployment. And we can get into it later, but on your screen, you can see that I'm displaying the Notebook LM, which is still in experimental, as you can see on the top left. You can simply sign in with your Google account and you should be at this screen. And I will drop the link to it in video description. It is notebooklm.google.com. Now, in order to create your notebook, all you need to do is to just simply click on this create and then you can upload your document. So let me click here. Let's wait for it. There you go. So now you can upload your sources. The so sources primarily is that your own data. So primarily what is happening here is it is simply a retrieval augmented generation or rag where you are giving the context from your own data to the large language model, which is Google Gemini in this case. So let me upload um, a document. I have just uploaded a PDF file, which is called as my PDF dot PDF. This simply contains my own personal information as who I am, where I live, what I do, that sort of stuff. And by the way, it only supports PDF dot TXT and markdown format at the moment. So no, uh, no CSV, nothing like that. Now you can create a FAQ, study guide, briefing doc, timeline, and that sort of stuff. For example, let me, um, you know, click on table of content and it is going to create that. So I have clicked here. Let's wait for it. And it, this is just me. And then you can, these are the uh, save responses, by the way. So let me click here. You can also go there. And then click again. Now you can start asking from it like, who is Fahad Mirza? Let's wait for it. There you go. It says based on the sources provided, Fahad Mirza is someone who works in cloud engineering and AI with a focus on support practices and processes for cloud services. He is based in Sydney, Australia. And you see, um, if you just hover around this one, which is the source number one or my document, it tells you that when he says he is based in Sydney, Australia, this is a citation or a reference for that. How good is that? And also for this one, you see it has just picked up where exactly it is picking up the information. Also, you see it says one source here. 
and then this is a guide which you can access also it is suggesting more questions like um, let's click here on this question it, it is your own personal chat bot which you can check also you can uncheck this from here on the top left to your source now let's say um, okay it's not now it is not letting me do anything so if i select here now you can type so you have to make it all grounded otherwise it won't work so and you can of course upload more documents if you like you can just simply click on plus here on the top left and then you can select more files so let me select one more file here let me see what i can do maybe i'll just select a documentation a very old one from oracle let's wait for it to get uploaded it's a bit of a big file also you can click on these three dots to remove the source or even rename the source there you go it is almost there so i'm just clicking on it it is almost there and then you can just simply just maybe create a let's create um, an FAQ from here and then I'm just going to unselect my own and this is FAQ and you can just start typing let's say what is PMON in Oracle so let's see if it is able to find that in that document and it is also going to tell us the citation or source for it there you go and it's quite cool there you go so it is also telling you that it has saved it and then it is telling us all about PMON process also where it has received from the source you see one two three you can check it that at these three locations it has found it and then i believe there is also a fourth one there you go how good is that and of course you can copy it you can just mark it good and then go from there also if you just click on this sandwich icon you can just uh, you know shrink it or expand it and then from here you can change the theme of it and then you click on x here you just close it off so there are a lot of things you can you can do the interfaces uh, i would say quite intuitive and if you go back to their home page there are a lot of examples which you can check out for example this uh, westward mushrooms when you select it there are a lot of sources on the left and then it is telling you there it has this is a written note and then saved responses all the stuff you just click on it it's telling you that these are the notes and then you can ask questions about it just like i showed you above so all in all you know really i would say a good tool if you just want to do a rag without you know any infrastructure without any hassle i think notebook lm is quite a good tool let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching